Hi, my name is Megan Turner Turley. I'm a PGY7 uh, in the general surgery program here at Duke. So I came to Duke uh, to try and get the most comprehensive general surgery training uh, with an emphasis in teaching and research and uh, kind of the cutting edge of clinical care. Uh, in my junior residency years, I was very unsure what I wanted to do and who I wanted to be when I grew up. What was really important to me was finding mentors who would take the time to get to know me well enough to help, me, help guide me in those directions. Uh, my second year, uh, early on in my second year of residency, our chair, Dr. Kirk, took me aside to talk about what my research time would look like and I was really moved in that he had taken enough time to get to know me to understand that I really wasn't going to thrive in a basic science lab and put me on a different track, uh, recommending a book by a local economist and ultimately setting me up to uh, work in his behavioral science lab for my two years of research. That was a really great experience for me. I spent a lot of time uh, learning the foundations of behavioral science and behavioral economics and seeing how those could be applied into uh, surgical decision making. Kind of at that same time, I spent some time with my colleagues um, in the big data world looking at the National Cancer Database and the National Surgical Quality Improvement Project, looking at how we could interpret large sets of data uh, to improve patient outcomes. My two senior mentors uh, from the residency program uh, taught me how to read and interpret literature, taught me how to code, how to understand data, ask the right questions, uh, and really shaped who I am as a researcher and I owe so much to them. Uh, moving into my senior years of residency, I started focusing on my future path, which is in colon and rectal surgery. I became really enamored with uh, minimally invasive surgery and trying to see how I can move that, uh, move that forward in my career. I spent a lot of time um, trying to understand how to use the robot and uh, moving that curricula forward here at Duke. So when interviewing, what you'll find is that a lot of programs will tell you you can be whatever you want to be when you grow up, that you have the credentials that will launch you into any path that you choose. And what was really important to me was the way that our leadership at Duke articulated that while that was true, they were here to push us and emphasize um, excellence and really help give us that extra um, push in the right direction to achieve even more than we ever thought was possible. And not only that, but help guide our interests into uh, areas that we could be really successful. And that stood out to me compared to all the other programs I applied to. Uh, moving forward, looking for a fellowship in colon and rectal surgery. I'm the last of our chiefs to go through the match, uh, and I'll find out in October of this year. I've been applying to uh, uh, programs all over the country, mostly emphasizing in a high clinical volume and a robotics experience that I would like to take forward with me. Um, destination is Austin, Texas, uh, where my husband and kids are. I'm hoping to join them in a specific colon and rectal surgery practice there. Uh, it's really easy to live in Durham. Uh, when I was looking for a residency program, I was looking for a place where I could work really, really hard at work, but always find a parking spot at the grocery store. And everything here is 10 minutes away. And that may seem small depending on where you come from, but I promise you the clinical work fills your days and you wanna be able to spend your time outside of work doing the extra, uh, extracurricular activities, not commuting to them. So as a chief resident and currently in my position as the administrative chief, my days look a little bit different than some of the junior residents. I get to the hospital uh, pretty early in the morning and run a couple of reports on OR utilization and case add-ons from the night before and I assemble those to send to some of our leadership first thing in the morning. I then gather the data on my own patients and meet up with my team to round on all of them uh, pretty early in the morning. Once we've seen all of our patients, we prepare to go to the operating room. Some mornings we have an additional clinical conference, uh, usually between 7 and 8 a.m. Uh, those conferences are led by leaders in the field and currently over a Zoom platform. Um, the operating room starts at 7.30 and we get right into it, um, usually doing a couple of cases in a day and re-rounding on the patients with your senior faculty uh, between, between your cases. 
the afternoons are filled with afternoon conferences and any time in between is really good for catching up on a little bit of research or just spending some time with your friends on the program.